There we go. Fish on. Good morning. Welcome to another late summer staging king uh, outing on the search. Just hooked up on the lead core here. Uh, it doesn't feel like a giant by any means. And it is 5 a.m. This, this is a keeper though, feels like it would be a nice eater. Uh, we've got the live scope set up over here. This is on the lead core, so there isn't gonna be any footage of uh, this thing in eight, but we're hoping that one of our weighted lines here, torpedo lines will get hit uh, any moment, so we shall see. But uh, it's early and the water's cold. Which is good, you know, a lot of fish around. There's a lot of fish. I'm guessing these are gonna be juvenile fish. So we're, we're pushing out now, start making our way out to a little bit deeper water, see if we can't go ahead and find ourselves a better sized fish uh, as we get a little bit deeper. And that's what we're doing today. Let them go here. There he goes. Little guy, throw him back. Give him a chance to get big. Oh, come on. We got another little shaker. Just. We just can't get them off. Hopefully he comes off, but <laughs> we're looking for your big brother, your big, uh, your daddy, your mom or something, bro. And that fish was probably the same fish that looked at my spread and broke off of it. Saw this thing way back there on the lead core and hit it. Look at the fish came from up and it's coming down. Take take this rod. Take this rod. We'll pull him away. See if he hits. Oh, wow, that was cool. Fish came from like 15 feet of water, dropped all the way down to come take a look at the rod set up right here. Pretty cool. Uh, I tried to record the screen, but my other GoPro is acting funky, so wasn't able to to get any kind of recording from it. So I'll do my best to use my phone, and it's a lot of timing because you're not gonna have your phone just on. I want to burn my battery out. So we'll see if we get any kind of uh, visual visual eats. What are you doing, little guy? Oh, he took all of them. There he goes. Cool. That was easy. There he is. He took it. Yep, it took it. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> oh, wow. We watched that eat right there. I got him to bite by dropping my speed. Well, not my speed, but turning the kayak so that this was the inside uh, line and it slowed down and uh, it hit. 
That was really cool. That was really cool. That's I think that's the benefit of live scope when you can see a fish like that, and then you know they're following it, and you can do something with your with something to uh, to get them to bite. You know, you can change your speed up real quick and grab the rod and, and pump it to get that lure to pulsate and trigger that bite or trigger that bite. Um, and all I did was I saw him on it. He kept, he wanted it. But all I did right there was literally turn left so that my inside rod where this, this spoon was on just fell back, slowed down. And that was it. It fell right in his mouth. Smashed it. Super cool. Super cool. Um, it's not it's not the big guy we're looking for, unfortunately. He did take a big magnum spoon, but it's cool nonetheless. We're gonna let him go. I'm not really trying to keep these little guys. Chill out, Bert. Chill out. Feels a little bit better. I didn't see that one because I was looking at something. I was looking at the. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. I keep getting fish looking at the J plug. Oh. Wait. Okay. What do we got back there? So I wasn't looking at the spoon. Feels like a little better fish. Seems like we dialed in the depth though. There he is coming in. Come on. We need this rod to go off. This big fish is gonna hit this one. And it's crazy that our lead course, I mean our lead core pulled two fish already, but it's been a little quiet since the sun came up. And we're finally getting our I'm finally getting my uh, torpedo lines working. I think it has to do with the fact that I can see exactly where my lines are at in the water, the depths, and I'm really, uh, it's really helping. I can put it exactly where I want it at. It's, it's okay fish. It definitely feels better than the shakers we've been catching, so I'll take that. I will certainly take that. Let's get ready for the net job here. I'll open that up. I think we're gonna drop this back a little more. Put that there. See if that gets us some bites. Maybe it's a, a zone thing. an eye on that. There we go. It's a nice little king. It's better. It's a better size. I mean, Good eater, know that much. Uh, this is day two with the uh, live scope, and I, I, I swear to you, I'm not even making this up, it's already worth every dollar. Not just because I'm seeing fish hit, but I'm just learning so much, seeing how they come in on, on a lure from the various angles. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Oh yeah, hooked up on a lead core. Is he pulling? Not pulling hard, man. Oh, oh, oh. 
he wants to kind of pull a little bit, but he ain't. So we don't have a big. Is he back there already? I think he came to the surface and jumped. A lot of head shakes. It's not stripping line though, so can't be too big here. We'll just keep going. We finally got our bite. This will be fish number three or four. Probably gonna be our second keeper though. We shook off a couple earlier. Sun's out now. We've been covering a lot of water and it just seems like uh, we got fish that are in like this 50 foot range. Went out to like past 50 on the 60 to 100. It was very quiet. So there must be another band of fish further out, which I'm not going to go out that far. So we're just going to have to kind of make do with what we got in, in this range and hope that within it we can find something bigger. Ludcore taking another fish here. Feels like the fish kind of gave up maybe here. About 80 feet of line. Keeping an eye out on our flasher fly, hoping we get some action on that thing. A little bit better size. A little bit better size than the first one. We'll take them. Oh, fish on. There we go. There we go. Feels a little bit better. We're recording? We're recording. All right. We just got smashed on the flash or fly. There we go. Feels uh doesn't feel too bad. Feels okay. He hasn't, he hasn't ran off a line, but feels like he got some weight to him. Well, I also got the the weight on him, so we slowed on our speed and he hit immediately. As soon as I clicked down, I dropped this from 2.5 to uh two two. Once the kayak slowed down, that fish hit. And we just finished putting that other fish, which is caught right in the bag, so that's uh that happened pretty quick i can see him coming up to the surface i can see him coming up to the surface it's about 60 feet back that's pretty cool wow we almost completely doubled up right there close enough we found ourselves some good water right here so Nice, nice, nice. I've been looking for a good flash or fly bite. I'm putting one of my, I got one of my favorites out right now. Running it. Man, he's feel, he feels like he got weight, but I also have the weight on here too that I'm reeling in, so. right there he might be about the same size as that other fish we just caught I think it's just that I'm reeling in the flasher and the weight and I run heavier weights on my flashers 16 ounces Come here, buddy. There you go. All right. There you go. We got a fish. I just saw him come down. Just barely saw him on the live scope come down from, I don't know, it looks like it was 20, 25 feet of water and come and hit it. All right. Let's get this guy in here. 
probably gonna be another cookie cutter size. Got some good head shakes. Come on. I gotta keep my troll straight. I keep veering off in a weird direction here. Look at that. You can see them down there. Water, water's so clear. So it makes so much sense how they can just come down from so far away and hit these lures. Keep that little guy. It's a good eater size. We'll take it. We'll take it. Well, we just need one more fish and we limit out. So one thing I did with my spoons, sun's out, water's clear. Um, the spoons I'm running now are just mostly... Um, how would I say? There's not so much paint on them as much as, as, it's, as it's just more of like silvers. More silvers and uh, less kind of like paints on it, if that makes sense. I just want, I really want all that flash to attract them. And uh, it seems to be working. I'll tell you what, the great thing about this live scope too is that I don't really need to even pay attention to what my line of uh, my line counter depth uh says i can just watch it and literally i set it at 35 feet this says i'm at 43 so you can see the difference there i can see that i'm at 35 uh on the, the live scope he's tailing it he won't take it though he's right on it just following it. There it is. Yep, he took it. He took it. <laughs> He took it. He was sitting there the whole time, just just looking at it for a while, and I had to kind of change, go left and right to uh, get the speed right. And he and he hit and he took it. So this is about to be our limit right here. Wow, I can actually saw him pooping in the water. It had little cloud uh, clouds coming out from behind its body. All right, let's see. He wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. That is uh it's our last fish for the trip. Limited out. This might be a pink actually. But a little guy. He'll eat. And you know, no big boys, but uh not complaining. Happy that we got our limit as always. A successful day, nonetheless. And still waiting for these bigger 
kings to start moving in and start setting up for that staging process. So um, seems like we're not quite there yet. It's fine. We're still getting in the fish. These are gonna eat great and uh, keeps you occupied when you're out here. And out of the kayak, it saves you from having to go way off into the distance, you know. We're fishing in 50 to 80 feet of water, which is a lot more reasonable to, you know, get out um, and do in open water. So if you enjoyed the video, as always, throw it a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, didn't get to film the live scope. Uh, had the other GoPro had issues, I have to work on that and figure out a way to, to do this so that I can show you guys what I'm seeing and see how amazing it is and how it's gonna, how it's already impacting my fishing. I'm able to see what's going on and and uh, when I see these fish following the presentation, I can do something to uh, essentially trigger them to bite as they're following it, because I see them there. So I can slow, slow down, speed up, turn to one side or the other to get a reaction, um, maybe even grab the, the rod and pump it a little bit to kind of get some going. Um, and that's already led to some catches for me. So uh, this is pretty amazing. And uh, if you need my detailed fishing reports, as always, you can support through Patreon. A lot of really great perks are in there, guys. If you want to support through Patreon, it means a lot. Uh, check out the link. You can see all the perks. Get into the webinars for free. Uh, I'm going to do uh, monthly meetups with my Patreon guys so we can fish together. Uh, and uh, so, so check all that out if you want to get involved and support. Um, if you need any of the gear that I got, check out the Amazon storefront. Rods, reels, uh, some of the lures, not all of them are up there. So you can check that out, get, get uh, geared up. And uh, if you want to get out on the guided trip and or get one-on-one -on -one coaching for kayak fishing out here, especially with the uh, fall run coming up, reach out to me, emails down below as well, and we can get something lined up. All right, that's it for me. Have a good one. Peace, y'all.